witty last words from notorious outlaws that shocked the world. It looks like gunslinging was not the only thing these outlaws were brilliant at. They have a way with words too. Even in their death, they remain unfazed and dauntless. If you were in their shoes, would you remain as calm and collected as them? Without further ado, let's hear out these outlaws' unbelievable last words. Number 1. Billy the Kid Let's start with the infamous and unforgettable outlaw that the lawmen keep an eye on. Billy the Kid was a skilled gunfighter who killed 8 men at the age of 21. He was the young leader of the notorious Rustlers Gang. Before Sheriff Pat Garrett gunned him down on July 14, 1881, he uttered, I'm not afraid to die like a man fighting, but I would not like to be killed like a dog unarmed. Number 2. Thomas Blackjack Ketchum This outlaw is probably the wittiest last line ever. Blackjack Ketchum was known for his successful robberies. Alongside his gang, they have committed several crimes, and their latest attempt was their last. In 1899, Ketchum's gang tried to rob a train. He was shot by the conductor and was arrested. He was sentenced to execution by hanging. His last words were, Can't you hurry this up a bit? I hear they eat dinner in Hades at 12 sharp, and I don't aim to be late. Before continuing, we would really appreciate a like to this video. If you also want to see similar content in the future, consider subscribing and activating the notification bell. Thank you for your support. Now, let's go on. Number 3. Sam Bass Bass was an infamous outlaw who specialized in stagecoach and train robberies. With that, he and his gang were under Pinkerton's and the Texas Rangers' radar. Their bank robbery failed when the authorities ambushed them. One of his gang members was the informant of the Texas Rangers' captain, John B. Jones. A shootout happened that resulted in Bass's death. Before he succumbed to death, he uttered these words, The world is a bubble trouble wherever you go. Number 4. Augustine Chacon Despite his life as an outlaw, he was widely liked by many citizens. Due to his Robin Hood-like personality, he had gained a huge following. But Chacon was a deadly outlaw. He had killed 30 men in his outlaw career. The Arizona Rangers captain, Burton C. Mossman, disguised as an outlaw and asked one of Chacon's gang members to accompany him in exchange of a lighter sentence and bounty money. Chacon was arrested and was sentenced to death by hanging. Before he died, he shook his followers' hands and bid them goodbye. With a smile, he uttered, Too late now. Gotta go. Time to hang. Number 5. Tom Horn Horn had a flexible occupation. He was an outlaw, scout, lawman, and gun for hire. The men he had killed as a hired gunman were approximately 17. However, in 1902, he was executed by hanging for allegedly killing a sheep rancher's 14-year-old son. His last words were, Killing men is my specialty. I look at it as a business proposition, and I think I have a corner on the market. If you want to see the continuation of this video, click the following links for more fantastic content.